Muslim tax that, that discriminates against Christians, right? It's not a charity, let's be clear, it's not charity. Um, you have a form of charity in zakah, I, I do accept that. But zakah is a redistributive tax that takes from rich Muslims and gives to poor Muslims. No, 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 yeah. no, no, just ignore him, just ignore him. He's just, just ignore him, just focus on the conversation. Yeah, like, what's wrong yeah. with him? Because he's, he's, he's just a troll. Carry on. Right. So, what is, what, is the, what is the alternative for the Christians in the Islamic State? There isn't one. Right? So, what we've got in the Islamic State is. A whole bunch oh, of Muslims allowed to give charity to Christians in the Islamic State. Zakat can't be given to Christians. Are they allowed to give Islamic Zakat? No, who they said can't, that? They can't. They can give other forms of charity, yeah, so what's the, what's the but they can't give what's Zakat. The, so the reason why it's a but like if you can give the equivalent amount of money, that's not Zakat. So one second, why why is it a discriminatory tax? There's no let us imagine. Well, let, no, hold on one second. Let us imagine that in this can country, can I as a Muslim give to a church? So can I can I finish my point? Yeah. So if if this country created a tax system Look, bro, I, the, didn't, I didn't the, come for a debate, I oh, just the, to say hi. Yeah, so, and I'm saying hi. Yeah. I'm, I have said hi. The tax to everybody, the poor, so the rich, the poor people You just got to ignore the trolls. He's, no he's just you have to for drinks too much tax. coffee. Yeah. Drinks too much coffee. And he's swearing in front of kids. Uh, so, you, you know, listen, like, I'm sorry about my so, kids. So my point is, the thing is, in Islamic State, you have... And that, unfortunately, is how Muslim children are being raised by no, Muslims no, 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 like that. I'm not, I'm not He's raising that. his children to think that it is appropriate to abuse Christians. That's the example he just provided to his children and we wonder why there is such anti-Christian bigotry in the Muslim community. That is why it's happening. That's, that's why there's anti-Christian bigotry that's, that's, amongst Muslims in this country and around the Islamic world. That's a generalization there. Uh, it it no. also happens to be a fact, my friend. No, the, no, you can't generalize. Yes, like yes, that. yes, there is Are widespread... Are you saying there's no Christians around the world that have taught their children to discriminate against Muslims? I, I am saying that there is widespread Christophobia in the Muslim community. I'm not denying that there may be an element of Christophobia in the Muslim community, but you, you can't deny there's an element of Islamophobia in the Christian community. So, I mean, I, 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 so I, I, what's I don't... What's the issue? So, 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 well, here's the issue. Because Islam institutes that kind of discrimination. Zakah coming back to Zakah. So zakat can only be given to, it's taken from rich Muslims and given to poor Muslims, right? Yeah. In an Islamic state, there is no equivalent redistribution for Christians. The jizya tax is taken from Christians and used for the purposes of the state. It is not redistributed to Christians. And other taxes may be redistributive. Let's be fair. Let's let's use a hypothetical scenario in which there is a redistributive tax that's given to all citizens that Christians can benefit from. It still results in an extra benefit for the Muslim community that the Christians do not receive. Jizya is paid by Christians in an Islamic state for the reason and purposes of not needing to participate in the army. So, Jizya is paid by Christians to humiliate them no, no, and to no, enforce no, the no, fact no, that no, they are no, sub... No. Shall I show you? I'll show you, okay? Because unfortunately, the, re the Islam that you want to believe in is Islam not... In. The Islam that you want to believe in is not the Islam of your Quran. Because you're a better Muslim than Muhammad. I know you and I know you're a good human being, right? I know you're a good human being. And I've said this to you on camera and off camera. Right? That, that you're better than Muhammad. Have I not said that to you multiple no, times? I don't believe but I have said that to you, haven't I? Right? So let, let's, let's just look at how Muslims impose right, their understanding of the dimi, the dimi tax. Okay? So in Sahih al Muslim, it states this is all connected to the, the text of the Quran that talks about the, the jizya tax, right? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, if you need to go, let's come back and ha have sure. that conversation. But the chances are, by the time you come back, I'll, I'll probably be talking with someone else. So maybe me and you can meet, like, uh, for a coffee sometime during the week. You, you know you can reach me. Can you reach me, or have you lost my contact details? It was mostly through, like, the mutual friend. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, if you want to reach me through our mutual... No, 
or I can give you my contact details and you can reach me that way. Yeah? Have you got uh, something to record it? Because I'll, I'll show you that you want to believe in a better religion than your texts allow you to. And that's a credit to you as a human being. That's genuinely a credit to you as a human being. But it doesn't get Islam out of the problem. It just means you're a good man. Yep. Okay. Okay. Get in touch with us, bro. And we'll uh, and we'll talk. Yeah. yeah happy, All right. Happy to have you. Good to see you. Just, right, no, I know right you now. were just saying yeah. hello. Yeah, yeah. Just saying hello. But I know you you can have an intelligent conversation, and I wanted to have an intelligent conversation with you. All right. Yeah, I'll be back if you're free, bit. when I come when you come back, sure. come and grab me. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think you've had a debate with him before. Who? Yeah, yeah. Well, I have had a debate with him. And um, let's go find. Let, uh, so, so the, the the fact of the matter is, guys, yeah. right? Muslims keep telling the Western world that zakat is charity. That's a lie. Zakat is not charity. They are literally lying to you when they say that zakat is charity. Zakat is a tax. It is a redistributive tax. And it is an unfair tax. It is a tax of an apartheid system. And why is it an attack of an apartheid system? Why? Because it is taken from Muslims, rich Muslims, and it can only be given to, to poor Muslims. Ah. So if you're a Christian in need, yeah. you can't receive zakat. Okay. So all of you guys that are thinking, yeah. oh, like, oh, isn't it nice that these Muslims are sending their zakat <laughs> to help the floods in Pakistan or the victims of the earthquake yeah. in Turkey, yeah, yeah. just bear in mind yeah. that none of that charity can be given to any of the Christian victims of that, those disasters. Ah, and actually, yeah. when the zakat was being redistributed in the floods of Pakistan, yeah. what was seen was that the Christians were refused aid. Ah. They were denied aid. And that's something that the Western liberals don't want to recognize. They don't want to recognize it. Because the Western liberals, would you like to have this debate? Hey, but come here. Then. You're talking about half it. Half it. So, so, so come, come here in front of the camera. Come here. If you're going to interrupt my conversation, I'm going to come and talk to you. I'll give you a clarification. Right. We can be cold sometimes, Bob. Listen, okay? I was just making a, I was making a Can we, sorry, can we do this timed? Yes. No, 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 I'm, I'm just going to make one, a few remarks and I'm, then, is it a technical, like, remark I'm going to make? Is the zakat, you're absolutely right, the zakat is legislated to be given to Muslims only, but we have a, uh, a, um, sorry, we have sadaqa, which is a much more frequent zakat given, which is uncapped to the zakat is 2.5, the, 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 the sadaqa could be any amount, yep. as frequent as possible, and can be to non muslims Of the apartheid discriminatory practices of Sharia law. Now he said, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. that Muslims do have a form of charity that they can give more liberally. And I don't dispute the point. I totally agree with him. Yeah. I, I am aware of that. Okay. But that is not my criticism. My criticism it's is not that Muslims have a form of liberal charity that they can give. Right. My criticism is that but Islam has a discriminatory tax called zakat that only can be given to one kind of citizen, the Muslim citizen. And as you've just heard, far from speaking <laughs> I was speaking fact. <laughs> one minute. Right, one minute reply. Okay, well I never agreed to one minute. I've been dragging into this debate because I heard one comment. I didn't I don't know any context that preceded or uh, this, this debate. I don't know if it's a debate or just a speech from Bob. Discussion, discussion from Bob. Well, and um, in fact, I didn't even interject in this conversation. Um, he asked me whether what he said was <laughs> or not, not my wording, his wording, not, sorry, not Bob's wording, the cameraman's wording. Um, I said, well, using his word, well, half, because because commonly when people will hear the word zakat, they just turn it to charity, and this is not strictly or technically correct. So I just said, let me use like a technical, um, technical correction there, to say zakat is, not, is, is, is a form of charity, but we have other more liberal and uh, free form of charity where 
is uncapped, you can give as much as you want and as frequently as you want. I'm not here to debate or discuss anything else, I was just simply making a correction on Bob's remarks. And yeah, that's all I have to say to this conversation. Thank you very much, and that's all. Thank you. Okay, so, so let me reply. I, okay, I'm going to reply to what he said. I'm going to reply to what he said. He said, JC, 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 it's fine. JC, it's fine. It's all right, it's not time now. So the point is, ladies and gentlemen. Go away, Siraj! Go away, Siraj! Go away, Siraj! Siraj, follow me, follow me, Siraj. Follow me, Siraj. Follow me, Siraj. Siraj, follow me, follow me. Follow me, Siraj. So, 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 follow me, Siraj. When it comes, when it comes. No, you want to discuss with me? Should be, please, am I right? Yeah. You want to discuss with me? Let me I'll ask him. Yeah, yeah, He's running away all the time. Oh, am I? Could you just go down there, Mike? No. Nope. Yeah. We're having a conversation. I'm just standing here. I'm not interrupting no you. No problem. Right. I'm with him. Don't worry. Uh, can you keep yeah, I'm with him. I want to discuss with him and yeah, debate with him, but he doesn't want to. Yeah, How would you like me to do this? What's guy, man? Are you interested in this? Yeah, I'm listening to you guys. Good for you. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm here. Don't worry. If he talks, I'm here. I need him. No, I want him to preach me, no, but he no, doesn't no. want so to. So what we saying? Yeah, it's got nothing to do. I'm not 100%. And who's confused? A big man like him. Yeah. You know, he's coming here. So I'm, I'm the same as others. Oh, he just referenced me there. How am I confused? What are you accusing me of? Here. You're always here. What, what am I confused about? And now he is watching, and then you'll say, oh, what are you? What Muslim are you? Oh, what are you? Oh, oh, you and then you'll say, oh, what are you? But this guy, he will tell you, oh, you know what? But what am I confused about? What's he saying that I'm confused about? He's just standing there. What am I confused about? Here. Go on, what's here. your argument? All Muslims, yeah, in every Muslim nation and Muslim leaders yeah. acknowledge what the day of Ashura is. Yeah. There would have been, like, corruption wouldn't happen. So Ashura is the yeah. day yeah. of uh, Ali, was it? Yeah. 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 Ashura, yeah. Ashura yeah. was the day of I'm with him. Ignore him. No, no, no. You guys can talk. Okay, okay, okay. You can talk. No, 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 no. What happened to Ashura? Let's discuss Muslims out here. I'm asking you. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? I want him to preach me. No, I'm not interrupting you. Siraj is interrupting you. No, no, Siraj. Siraj is the one. Give me space. I want him to preach me. Okay, I'll do that. He can't preach me. What? What? Oh, I'm sorry. Siraj has interrupted your power. Question. That's really bad. No, Siraj, no. follow me. No, no, follow me, no, no, Siraj. No, no, no. Siraj, follow me. No, no, follow me, Siraj. Siraj. I got a question. Follow me, Siraj. Follow me. Follow me, Siraj. I got a question for you. Follow, follow me, Siraj. I got a question. What, for you. what, what are we asking? We're asking what happened on the day of our shooter. Ask him. No, you ask him. No, no, I don't want to talk to him. I got a question for you. Oh no, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. I got a question for you. I'm asking. But ask him. Look, he wants to I don't want to talk to him. Bro, Jesus trust me, he's going to have some. No, 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 he's going to have some answers for you. He's going to have some answers for you. He can debate. He can debate. He's going to 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 debate. Have your okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 so you we, don't believe in Shia and, and no, no, Sunni? Me and no, him, no, him, me and him, we say it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm interrupting your conversation. Follow, follow me. Follow me. Sajid, I want to be Christian. Come and talk to me, bro. No, 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 okay, no. let's talk. Come on, let, let's go over here and talk. Tell me which Christianity is right. There's only one Christianity. No, there is oh, yeah. many books. I'm confused. So, so Christianity yeah. is about Christianity is about making yourself a student of Jesus Christ. Every which, Christian which does that. Which Christianity? There is only one. No, there is Catholic. There is. So, 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 Protestant, what is it to be a Christian? What does know. the word Christian mean? I don't know. You tell me. So, I'm going to tell you. Uh -huh. So, to be a Christian, it was an insult that was given to Christians mm -hmm. at Antioch, and literally in the Greek, it means little Christ. And it referred to the group of people who called themselves the followers of the way. And when they called themselves the followers of the way, they were referring to the fact that they follow Jesus Christ. So that is what it means to be a Christian, to be a follower of Jesus Christ. So that if you so, want to be a Christian, that's what you need to do. It's so not what, about denominations. What, what, what is Jesus following? So who is Jesus following? What is Jesus following? Jesus, 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 Jesus is bringing a new covenant. Yeah, what is it? So that new covenant is the, the, the establishment of a church that, that believes that he is the Messiah prophesied in the Jewish scriptures, 
and that he was died for our sins and that he rose on the third day. No, no, so that's, Jew, that's what Jesus Jewish, taught. Jewish, that's what Jesus taught. Jew, Jews, that's what Jesus this? taught. Jews, do they that's what they Jesus believes. Jews, no, they don't believe. I don't, that's they what die, Jews they believe. Jews, they don't believe. Jews, they don't believe. Jews, they don't believe. Jewish, do they believe this? No. Some don't. Jews do, yes. What about the mostly Jews? What? The majority? The majority. Is no. truth decided by vote? Uh, I don't think so. There we go then. So there are some Jews that believe what I've just said. The first Christians were all Jews. Jesus was a Jew and Jesus taught everything I've just said. And that's what Christians believe. Are you Christian believe. or a Jew? I'm a Christian. You're a Christian. Yeah. How, can, how can a religion... Yeah. Uh... So God was a Jew. What, sorry? God, he was a Jew. Yes, God took to himself a humanity and became a Jew, yes. yes. Yeah. And, uh, God, there was one question. We need uh, in after God, huh? When, uh, when uh, Jesus was uh, raised, up. raised, up. raised yeah. who, who was taking care of the world? So when Jesus was in the tomb, uh -huh. Jesus was taking care of the world oh, because who was, who was I'm going taking... to answer that question. Okay, it's a really you, easy question. Yeah, yeah, Drink yeah, less yeah. coffee, guys. Yeah. You'll learn more, yeah, right? It's a really simple question okay. because Christians, like Muslims, don't believe that death is the end of existence. You don't cease to exist just because you die. When Jesus was dead in the tomb, he continued to exist and so he continued to order yeah, and maintain the world. Well, you as a Muslim believe that people are tortured in their graves. Do you not believe that? Yeah, we do. Right, so death isn't the end of existence, is no, it? It's not. So when Christians say that Jesus died, we don't say that he ceased to exist. Your Muslim da'i are lying to you when they make that argument that Christians believe that Jesus died, so who was taking care of the so universe? He, wasn't die. he didn't die at all then. He did die, he but death is not <laughs> yeah, the end of existence. He did die, but you don't literally, believe You've literally just okay. repeated the same error. Literally just repeated the same error. Repeat yeah, repeat it again. He, he did die, again. but you don't believe he, he died. No, listen carefully to what I said. Okay. Because you clearly didn't listen the first time. Okay. Christians, like Muslims, do not believe that death is the end of existence. Okay, I truly believe that Jesus Christ died according to the flesh. Okay. I do not believe that when he died, he ceased to exist. I do not believe that when he died, he ceased to maintain the universe. I believe that when he died, he died a real death and he continued okay. to maintain the universe. Okay, wait. Is your question answered? Yes. Wait, there wait. you go. I have a glass, ask glass of water them. here ask and I'm them. sleeping. Ask when them. I'm sleeping, the glass always is going down. If the God die, brother, the, this earth is shut down everything. Now, in your concept, you are alone. My glass here, me fell to sleep. Go down, broke. Completely one, false. That's one, not Jesus what we died. believe. How are you honest, honest. That's not no, what we believe. No, no, down, That's what your no, da'i no, tell no, you no, we no, believe, no, and your da'i are lying to you. Everything that your da'i tell you about Christianity is a lie. Yes, yes, you know the guy, yes. Raj, he had a question. Like he said, the, the Paul. Yes. Paul. Yes. He said that Jesus uh, went up in the heavens after 40 days of his death. Yes. And while the other guy, I don't know, Matthew or whoever, went. Jesus went up after two days of his death. Right. Which so, one is right? right. So, so actually, if you read the New Testament clearly, mm -hmm. it states the following. Okay. It states that after the resurrection... Yeah, Does these two things come in the Bible? Yes. Two days and four, two yeah. days? No, no, no. no I'm, I'm going to... Literally, days, if you let me answer your question, you might hear an answer. Like, ask a question and then have the courtesy to listen to the answer. Don't be like Siraj. So, ladies and gentlemen, the, if you read the New Testament carefully, it clearly states that Christ, after the resurrection, appeared to the apostles for 40 days. Paul says it. The book of Acts says it. It's there in all of Scripture. There's, there's no teaching in the Scripture that after two days, Christ went to heaven. What Christ says, when he is on the cross, he turns to one of the, say, one of the, 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 the thieves that are going to die with him and he says this day you will be with me in paradise Paul, what is that telling you us, it's telling you that christ in his divinity has omnipresence so that even though his body is dead in the tomb he will be with the thief in paradise you see the point of your da'i is what they do is they take a couple of words or a couple of lines out of context and then they talk to gullible Muslims who don't do any research, and then you repeat to Christians the lies of your da'i. You 
I challenge phone. you. I challenge you. No, it's in the book. It's in the book. It's in the gospel. Listen, listen, listen. Let me, let me say something. Go on. I, 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 I know that Christianity is corrupted, and there is nothing makes sense on it. That's a claim. Yeah, Where's your proof? Uh, the proof is uh, the. Um, how That's a claim. Where's your proof? The proof is the many uh, Old Testament, New Testament. That's not the proof. Old Testament, the many books. There you don't understand. Has so many different situations, different meanings. Right. Whatever. Go on. Yeah. Second of all, you, you can see actually the. Um, Wait. Can we do point by point? Let, let, let yeah, me. No, you made just, you made a point. Let me address point that point. Let me just say something. No, you that's made what, a point. Let me address let me that one say, point. Say, 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 say something. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, the, Go the on. Finish then. The, 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 the Christianity actually now is so related to money and back as well. It's so related to money. That's why nowadays everything is normal. So that's two points. Now let me reply to those two points. Which okay. means let me reply to those man, two points. You can marry a man. Right. It's, it's, it's the, you're right. Bishop, so so, so let me reply. Bishop, the the yeah, exactly. You're right. You're, you're right, brother. You are right. No, yeah. He is wrong. No. You are right. He is wrong. So the now let me, JC, churches, have, he's no, not listening, no, the he's, not listening. No, he's not listening, yeah. so I'm just His going father, to speak to the crowd, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. And I, so I'm going, to, I'm going to take a step over here and reply to his comments. So the Muslim said that we can't trust the Bible because the Bible has been changed. But the Muslims have different hadiths. The Sunni and the Shia have different hadiths and they don't agree which hadiths to follow. So they dispute with one another about which books to believe in. So his accusation is actually true about his own religion. Secondly, secondly, there are multiple versions of the Quran. And the multiple versions of the Quran have different words that change the local meaning of the verse. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a second accusation that he made happens to be true about his own religion. His second, third accusation was that Christianity is all about money and that we've sold our religion and we just accept anything, even gay marriage. The fact of the matter is, ladies and gentlemen, Christians who follow money are not Christians. Jesus Christ clearly condemns that man cannot have two gods. I will, I will, I'll come to him. Man cannot have two gods. You cannot worship God and money. You can't serve two masters. You can't serve God and money. Those bishops who teach things like gay marriage have abandoned the faith. They are not Christian leaders. They are not Christians. They are apostates. And they should be excommunicated from the church. But now let me ask him a question. Because... No, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, I'm going to ask you a question now. You've asked me questions, so now I'm going to ask you a question. I never asked you a question. I'm asking you a question. You did it. Yes, you did. I have you on camera asking me a question. Now I'm going to ask you a question. You asked me about Jesus Christ rising from the dead and who was in control of the universe. That was your question. It's on camera. You asked me a question. Am I going to ask you a question? So now here's my question. Now here's my question to you. Here's my question. And you can join in as well. You can join in as well. Right? Why does Islam discriminate against Christians in the compulsory tax of zakat? No, we don't. Yes, you do. No, we don't. No. Can zakat be given to Christians? Yes. Lie. Why not? That is a lie. And Can zakat be given to Christians? Yeah, yeah. Islam, right. Yes. They don't know. They said yes. Let me prove that they're lying. How much you want? Let me prove that they're lying. You thinking yourself? I'm going to prove that they're lying. Yes. I'm going to prove that they're lying. Please. Going to prove that they're lying. Check it here, and you can see. Right. Find contradictions there. You don't trust. No, I said that the Muslims cannot give zakat to Christians. Yes, and I'm going to show that that is true. Charity. No, no, no. It's different. It's not charity. It's a tax. It's not a charity. It's a redistributive tax. So we have to pay tax. It is a redistributive tax. Yes. No, no, no. 
Now we have the left, okay? I have a billion, okay? And, uh, right! <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> right, are you guys listening? Because you asked me to find it. He, right, you said that I was lying when I said zakat couldn't be given to Christians. This is from Islam QA. This is a Muslim scholar answering the question about giving zakat to the kafas. Kafas. It, zakat is a redistributive tax taken from rich Muslims and given to poor Muslims. It is not charity, it is a tax. It says, this is the Muslim scholar, it is not permissible from Islam QA, go and look it up. It is not permissible to give zakat on one's wealth or crops or zakat al fitra to the unbelievers. Even if they are poor, okay. even if they are wayfarers, what is even if they are debtors, and if one Brother. who gives zakat Brother. to them, it is not you counted as no, no, no. zakat. So Islam has a discriminatory tax against Christians and Jews. What is now, ladies and gentlemen. Kafir, what is Kafir, brother? It's Kafir, you are Mushrik, brother, in Arabic language. You are Mushrik. Yes, it's a tax. Kafir. Kafir is atheist. So if we had a tax that didn't benefit all citizens, would you say that that was discriminatory? Kafir, brother, Kafir is atheist, brother. Don't mix it up and down. Huh? Yes, it would. Because as a Christian, I believe in charity. Are you going to, are you going to, are you going to let me answer your question? You're, right. You've asked the question, would I as a Christian have a problem with taking tax from rich Christians and only giving it to poor Christians? I'm going to answer that question. Yes, I would have a problem with that. And here is why. As a Christian, I believe, right? As a Christian, I believe that the state should work for the good of all. That every human being, regardless of their religion, the state, is made in the image of God. The state does not Allow, me the Allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. Allow me to finish, because you asked the question, right? So you've got to listen to the answer. It's only fair, right? I believe that the state, whether it does or it doesn't, is a different question. But I believe that a good state should work for the benefit of all of its citizens because I believe that all people are made in the image of God and therefore should be treated with equal dignity under the law. That's what I believe as a Christian. And Islam, if I lived in an Islamic state, I would be treated as a second class citizen. I have a problem with that because I have a problem with discrimination. Tell me, do you have a Egyptian is You said who said that? Every brother is Pakistani. It's all Muslim. I have you said who said that? Brother. You said who My said that? Brother is coming I will tell you who out, said brother. that. Wait, 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 wait. Islam QA hey. is hey. get off. Hey. Hey. Keep, hey. Your, hey. Hands hey. 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 Keep hey. your hands to yourself. Hey. 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 Keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands to yourself. Right? So, no, one second. One second. One second. One second. You're saying who said that? Kafir, you are not Muslim Kafir. scholars say that. That's who say that. Brother. Right? Do you believe in following the Muslim scholars in yeah, their course, but Yes, of yes, course. Yes, yeah. yes, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're all cheering. Yes, 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 I do. Right? Brother, just one second. So, zakat, according to your Muslim scholars, you are not it is yeah. not permissible yeah. to Kafir. give zakat. Kafir. On you one's wealth or crops to unbelievers, you are even if they are poor, you are mushrik, brother. even if they brother, are brother. poor, you are mushrik, brother. You are mushrik. You ask a question. You are no, okay. Yeah, go and ask the question. Please, please, please. Let, let him ask. Please, please. Yeah, yeah. He, is that from the Quran or the Hadith? Okay. So the answer to the question, the answer to the question is that it will be taken from both. Right, Muslim, so scholars, Muslim scholars <laughs> use the Quran and the Hadiths to create fiqh right, and their yes, fiqh yes. is what governs Sharia. Is that fair or correct? Right. That is true. But, that is true. But, 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 one second, one second. But you have to prove the claim. Yeah. I just claiming did. something. No, no you're mentioning not. a scholar, Muslim scholar. Yes. So you disagree. You who, who's that scholar? What is so the name? All right, here's my challenge. Here's my challenge. Give us the name. Okay, here's my challenge. Give us the name. Here's Give my us the words from the Quran and the Hadith. Here's my challenge. Here's my challenge. If if you think I'm lying, bring up the Muslim scholar that says you can give zakat to Christians. 
Come on, work together. Get out your phones. Google it. Show me the scholar that says it. Hold on, hold on. We are a duty. Then that's not zakat according to Muslim scholars. Why not? Please. Because you can't give zakat to unbelievers. Please. Prove us from the Quran or the Hadith. Please. Christian or not? Look, we want to. Who's we? Me and him, me and him, me and him. Who's every person? Me and you, me and you. Everyone here. How are you speaking for me? All right. In Except that you. Case, you speak as a Christian. Yes, I'll speak as a Christian. Thank right. you. You say, which is not factual. What? Go on. What? That it is the word. In. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Right. The prophet, peace be upon him. Right. I'm a Christian. Okay, but that is respect to you. We are all people of the book. Yes. No, we're not. Yes, yes. yes. No, we're not. Yes. No, we're not. What do we yes. mean? Muslim, no, we're not. What do we mean? Muslim, no, we're not. The people of book. No, no, we're Take not. That's an Islamic term, no. not a Christian no. term. Makes no difference. Show me people of the please, book in the Bible. Please. Please. No, you, yes. you're not. You're not no, talking you, authentically no, about the Christian faith. You're not. You're not talking authentically. Jews. Christians. We're not people of the book. No, That's an Islamic lie. No, it's not an Islamic lie. That, no, is that is not what we believe. It's not an Islamic lie. It is an Islamic lie. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's your personal view. And it, it, is, it is an what, Islamic lie. Let me tell you what the evidence is. The objective fact on the face of To what? To the zakat question. No, no, you're not trying to... You are not the issue about the zakat. No, have a conversation about zakat. Don't change the topic. No, please. We're talking about no, zakat. We yes, we are. No, we're getting. No, we're talking no, about zakat. Be, we're talking about zakat. Right, right, you made your point. Right, well, if you don't want to talk about zakat, I'm going to find someone that wants to talk no, about no, zakat. No, you don't want to speak. You talk about mean, zakat. What you mean is. Yes, it's you, about zakat. You mean. Go on. That you are not. Practicing, in my view, okay, what the Lord Jesus Christ, who's the second prophet in Islam, okay, you know Jesus Christ is the Son of God, right? I do, 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 God. do you believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God? I've been brought up to say, thank do you believe it? He's a prophet. Do you believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Please, can I finish? You ask monosyllabic, quimple questions where you think. That there is one absolute. No Christian answer. would struggle to answer this question. Right. Do um, you believe Jesus Christ is say? the Son of what God? Did I just say? I didn't hear you answer. Right. I'm, Let me I'm just say to you, we were all brought up as Christians to. Still believe. not answering my question. I just told you that. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Personally, yes. That is my faith. Right. Do you Thank think you. a Muslim believes that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Well, of course he doesn't. What right. Does he so we're not the same faith, are we? How? So we're not the same faith, are we? So we're not the same faith, are we? Is that the same faith? What you are doing? Is that the same faith? What you are doing is that is your belligerence underlies your attitude of intolerance, and that is not what Jesus taught. What did Jesus teach? Jesus taught. What did te Jesus teach? He said, love your enemy. He said, what did Jesus teach? Love love I have yes. not come to bring, I have come to bring a sword to turn father against son, against mother, against daughter, so, so your to turn neighbor Use against neighbor. I have well, come not, well, what did he that say? those, Love thy neighbor that those who are not for Why? me you are, are against me. You, are being you don't know what no, Jesus you taught. You don't know. You don't know what you Jesus missed taught. The spiritual point. Loving and your you neighbor take, you take things is not you about you saying let everybody let believes you, the same. Uh, let me tell you where the he, problems Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Your politics is guiding your religion. Your politics. I mean, you, know, is your I mean, you know what my politics is. You haven't been discipled by Jesus what Christ. You have been discipled what by liberal, politics. progressive no, politics. I'm not. No, That's I'm not. not happening. You here. have a self serve You are not yes. claiming. You're not claiming. You're trying to change the topic. No, you are, and you're aggravated like you, because you don't like understand you. the issues. No, do you agree with apartheid? Misleading. His talk apartheid is the talk that leads to conflict. Yes, I have. Do you know what Jesus Christ taught? 
in the way. So how would you be able to listen with respect? If you don't know what Jesus Christ taught, how would you know whether or not I'd be discipled by him? What, sorry? Right. Right. That is your personal belief, and I accept it, right? But that still doesn't actually address what I just said. Because for me, even though you don't believe it, I believe Jesus Christ is real. You're making the accusation that I have not been discipled by Jesus Christ. For that accusation to be true, you actually have to understand what I believe that Jesus Christ said. Do you see the logic? Right, so my point is, I recognize when you come to Speaker's Corner, it's an intense place, passions get arised. That's fine, it's very exciting. I got excited when I first came here as well. But my, my, point, my point to you is, sister, is you've got aggravated because you heard a little snippet of something and you don't understand all the issues, okay? You need to go and look at how Christians have, been, have suffered under Islamic Sharia law and to understand why I'm... Well, well let's go over there and I'll let you put Yeah, don't... She's a minor. Don't put her on camera. Yeah, she's going to film me, he's not going to film you. I'm guessing that's because you're young, right? And, and therefore we shouldn't put you on camera, right? So, so my point to you is that the, the criticism that I was trying to make that was rudely interrupted is that, well, I mean, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Is, that, is that if you look, because I'm a student of religion, so I've looked into different religions, academically at university level, right? And Christians in an Islamic state are, are led to be second-class citizens, right? And in a whole host of ways. And one of the ways that I was trying to demonstrate that was through this tax called um, zakat, right? The thing is, if, if you create a society in which some Christians end up having less rights than others, you create an apartheid. That's what an apartheid means. So you have examples of apartheid in America and in South Africa where it was a racial apartheid. Black people had less rights than white people. That's what I mean by apartheid. The thing is, in under Sharia law, I as a Christian become a second class citizen. Why? One, I can never be a caliph, I can never be the leader of the country. Two, I can never have authority over a Muslim. Three, I am discriminated in the tax system because zakat can only be given to uh, Muslims. It can't be given to me even if I'm poor. Three, I have to pay a jizya tax that means that I am, I am sort of subjugated and humiliated. That's literally what the tax is about, right? Now, the thing is, if I, say, started a political party in which I wanted to say things like Muslims couldn't practice their religion fully in this country, right? That they, um, they couldn't proselytize, they couldn't convert, they couldn't marry, um, you know, Christian women couldn't marry Muslim men. Would you say that that was Islamophobic? And you would be right because that is Islamophobic. But all of those rules that I've just described to you, they all exist in Islam. Now, is it fair then for me as a Christian to be angry about that? Is it fair as me as a Christian to say that that is wrong? What, sorry? With, with all of the examples, like in Islam, even if a Muslim woman wants to marry a Christian man, it's not allowed. Right, is that not, if, you, if we say it's Islamophobic if we did it to Muslims, is it not Christophobic if they do it to us? It's the same. And that's what I'm arguing against. And I don't think I'm wrong for arguing against it. How are we doing, Amir? This is Amir, he's a nice person. Uh, well, I, I want to ask you something then. Is it, is, if you, as a, as a, as a Christian, you, don't want, you, you cannot become governor or ruler, is that maybe because, would you abide by the Sharia if, if you were a governor or ruler? Or would you put Christian rules in, in place? Okay, so, so the, the answer to the question is, of course, as a Christian, I would seek to undermine the Sharia. Now, why? Let me and finish. That's, and that's why but but why? 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 Because, because Sharia law is intrinsically discriminatory. Yeah. And I believe as a Christian, according to what the Bible teaches, yeah. that people should be treated equal under the law. But Sharia law says that quite literally under the law, you would have more rights than me. Doesn't it say that? As a guy, okay, okay, give me Be examples. honest, give me examples. I'll give you an example. Okay. I'll give you an example. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I'll give you an example. Example number one. 
If I, in the Sharia law, if yes. I become a Muslim, is that allowed? Yes. If you become a Christian, yes. what does Sharia law stipulate for you? Death. Death. Did you hear that? Yeah. Right? So if under Sharia law, if I become a Muslim, that's okay. But if he becomes a Christian, he should be executed. Yeah. Is that fair? I believe so. He believes so. Believe, so wait, wait, so wait, wait, Islam wait, wait, teaches wait, wait, discrimination. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let no, let you wanted the, no, wait. wait. You wanted examples. That was example number one. Yeah, example number no. Example number two. Wait, no. Example number two. I'll give you example. Example. You can come back to it. Okay. Example number two. The the blood money that's paid. Right. The what? Blood money. The the dia. The the blood money. Life for life. Like that. That the teaching. Yeah. Do what's it called? Fidya. Fidya, right. In Islam, yes. if a Christian kills a Muslim, what is the maximum punishment that can happen to that Christian? Death. 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 Yes. If a Muslim kills a Christian, no, Muslim. can they be executed? I think so. No, I they can't. So. I, you know, I mean, you know me, I've checked I said, it. I said I think so. so. I, Amir, I'm telling you, they can't. In, in, no, he's not lying, he's just being genuine. Okay, you can okay. be genuinely yes, wrong. Be Amir, pro yes. I promise you, that under the concept of the life for life, blood for blood, the punishment for a, a the, the killing of a Muslim by a Christian cannot be met with a death penalty. According to the, the blood money system, the blood money that, that is paid for a Christian is half that of a Muslim. Are you aware of that? Can you repeat that, sir? So if, say, me and you are run down by someone in the street, yeah. right? And our two families in a Sharia court system yeah. go to the judge and say, we want blood money. Yes. Right? We both demand blood money. The value for my life is half that of yours. Are you aware of that? I know. Right, I'm telling you, go, I'll show it to you when we meet, because okay. me and you are going to meet again. I'll bring you all the evidence. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Now, would you, so that's example number two. Yeah. Example number three. All right. Example number three. All right. Um, under the Pact of Umar, yeah. right? Under the Pact of Umar, Christians were not allowed to ring their bells. They were not allowed to process in the streets. Yeah. They were not allowed to display a cross publicly. Okay. In Islamic law, yeah. do you do you recognise that these things are not allowed? Like, yes. Yes. right, yes, yes, yes. right, right. So my it's point. Apologetic. So, but, 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 if someone was to say that Muslims couldn't display their faith publicly, yeah, would example. you say that that was discrimination? Only Muslims couldn't display their faith. Yes, Muslims. exactly. Yes. But my point to you is, yes. Amir is telling you that what I've just said is true. That in the, if you go to Saudi Arabia or Iran, which are two countries, or, or Afghanistan, which are three countries that practice Sharia law, a cross, a Christian cross, cannot be displayed in public. Christians can't process in the streets, which is what we do in our faith. We can't evangelize, which is what we do in our faith. If we did that to Muslims, you all recognize that that would be discrimination. But Sharia law says that you ca they can discriminate against us. And I'm saying that that is wrong. Yes. And I'm saying that we should stand against it. And you're not doing anything wrong for standing exactly. against it. So I've given you three examples. Now come back. Go on, you might have your first example. So the first example, Amir. Yes. Well, I would actually like to talk about zakat. Yes, go on. Right? So zakat would be another example of this kind of discrimination. Let me go back to the first because I remember I had something to say. Okay, talk about killing um, Christians who've left Islam. Killing Christians. Yes. Executing Christians yes. who've you, left would Islam. Would you not believe that maybe, maybe because it's the true religion, so religion may be the true religion, just as a hypothesis, if it's the true religion, that God would make it hard for people to leave it. Right. So I would say that if someone has decided to leave the religion in their heart, yeah. they have already left. Yes. And that there, there is nothing you can do to stop them. And the point of the, the, the point of the apostate execution yes. is a sign of Islam's weakness. Because it's saying that we're going to put a gun to your head, that you have to publicly pretend that you're still a Muslim, even though you've already abandoned the deen in your heart. I mean... Uh. There's, I mean, do, you, do you know, Amir, there's loads of Muslims pretending to be Muslims that are atheists yeah, in the Islamic sure, world? Yeah, sure, 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 of course. Now, why are they doing that? I don't know, because... They're frightened of punishment. Yeah. They're frightened of discrimination. But they're, they're literally going to the mosque and being hypocrites. They're going to the mosque and doing the prostrations even though they don't even believe in God. And they're doing it because the discrimination against non-believers in the Islamic world means that they're afraid to say that they don't believe. 
And it's the same with Christians. We know that there are Christians going to mosque. And they're going to mosque and doing salah in the mosque. And in their heads, they're praying to Jesus. And they're doing it because if they come out publicly and say that they've become Christian, they could be killed or discriminated against. I wouldn't mind discrimination. But... Right, now here's the thing. If this country passed a law that said if you converted to Islam, we'll execute you, would you object to that law? Probably. Probably. So my point to you is, bro, is that your own heart is telling you that Sharia law is unjust. Because you would be right to object to such a law. What I would, what I would say is that Sharia law would... Your conscience is given to you by God. Yes. Right? Yeah. You know that you, we could dispute about which book to believe in. Yeah. But you know that God created you and gave you a conscience. Yeah. Right? But your conscience objects to the kind of discriminatory practices that you are trying to defend if they were put against me. And that means, that means that that which God has given you is telling you that that which the Muslims have given you in your hand, i.e. the Quran and the Hadith, are wrong. wrong. No, no, no. The Christian... I, I, I'm, going, I'm coming back to the same point. All the Sharia is like this, is the secondary thing for me because it, it only yeah, proves or disproves something. Yeah. Because it all helps prove or it helps disprove, but it doesn't prove or disprove anything. Yeah. If that makes sense. So, so let, let's talk about Zakat. Okay. Because I think that Zakat is one of the ways that we can demonstrate the truth of Christianity over Islam. Yeah. Right? Here's my criticism of Zakat. Criticism number one. Zakat is a discriminatory tax that discriminates against non-Muslims. Criticism number two, Zakat limits goodness in the world. It restrains goodness in the world. Criticism number three, there are better, there are better examples of tax, redistributive tax than Zakat. It, there are superior tax systems to Zakat, right? If zakat is the best religion, is, is part of the best religion and deen in the world, yeah. then zakat should be the best tax in the world. And I've given you three reasons why zakat is, is false. Now I can evidence all of those reasons if you want me to, yeah. but I think you know what I'm driving at. Yeah, I know, I know. Right, so, <laughs> so zakat is a tax, a redistributive, it is a redistributive, it is a tax. No, it's a tax. It is a tax. It's a tax. No, it's redistributive tax. Come on, join in the conversation then. In Islam, there are two types of charities in what we call them. Right. Zakat and yep. Sadqa. Yeah. So the point you were arguing upon that Zakat cannot be given to uh, non-Muslims. Thing is that Sadqa can be given to non-Muslims. And from the time of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, right. Zakat was an act that united the Muslim Ummah. Okay, let me reply to that. I'm going to reply to that by just saying that you're utterly wrong. Let me finish. I listen to you. Firstly, if something is an obligation that is enforced by the state, it isn't charity. Zakat is enforced by an Islamic state. And therefore, it is not charity. Because if you refuse to give zakat because you don't believe that you should, according to Islamic deen, you're not a Muslim. And an Islamic state will punish someone who does not pay his zakat. So it isn't charity. So that's where you're wrong on number one. You're wrong on number two. Because quoting from Islam QA, which is a Salafist website of a Muslim scholar, it states this. It is not permissible to give zakat on one's wealth or crops or zakat al-fitra to kafirs, that's unbelievers, even if they are poor or wayfarers or debtors and if one gives zakat to them it is not counted as zakat so you're wrong in your first statement and you're wrong in your I, second I, statement I never, can I complete now? yeah i never said that zakat can be given to non muslims i am not saying that nor is he saying i'm that. pretty sure that's what you said no that's not what i said I, I thought you checked the recording i'm right. telling you the God cannot be given to non-Muslims. I, I said that like two minutes ago. So it is a discriminatory tax? It, is, it cannot be given to non-Muslims. Right, so it's a discriminatory sadka tax. Be, sadka can be given to non-Muslims. We're not talking about Sakka, we're talking about Zakka. It is interconnected, both, both the charities. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. No, 
Zaka is a discriminatory tax. That's the criticism. That's what you are saying. I never Wait, said what's, what's discrimination? It's not discrimination because... What is discrimination? I, uh, can I ask because you can't bring my question. Yeah, go on. Go on. I told you, Zakat and Sadka are two different types of charities. And then, if you cannot give, give Zakat to non-Muslims, you can give Sadka to non-Muslims. And you, you're totally running away from that fact. Right, so let me reply to that. And, and I want to clear myself, I never said Zakat cannot be given to non-Muslims. Right, so let me reply to that. Because he's, he's not listening to the criticism. The criticism is not that Muslims can give Sadaka to non-Muslims. That's not a criticism. I'm not, wait, 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 you wanted to be listened to, right? That's not the criticism I'm making. The criticism that I'm making is Zaka is a discriminatory tax. That's the criticism that I'm making. I'm criticizing Zaka for three reasons. I'm, I'm going to explain. One, Zaka is, is a discriminatory tax. That's criticism number one. Criticism number two is that Zakat is a, a, it restricts goodness. It restricts the good that you can do because you can't move it above 2.5%. It's capped at 2.5%. Which leads to my third criticism of Zakat. And my third criticism of Zakat is that there are better tax redistributive systems in the world today that outdo zakat. And if Islam is the perfect religion with the perfect system, how is it we've got better tax systems than the Islamic zakat system? That's my criticism. So first, on your first criticism, thank you very much. You made your point. So first, how can zakat be discriminatory when it is a burden on Muslims? This is first, because when you talk about discrimination, is in the context of giving rights. Okay, so first, zakat is a burden on Muslims. How can it be discriminatory when it is a burden? This is first. Second, it is capped. Why? It is capped because it is a progressive, let's say, tax. It's a compulsory charity, not tax, but it's a progressive. It means that the wealthiest man pays more. Why? Because if you deduct, if you apply 2.5 on its wealth, it will be more than a less wealthiest person. It is capped to not, for the government of, uh, of Islamic government, to not abuse it and change it and increase it. Why? Because they are failing their expenditure policies. So it is capped and regulated to protect Muslims who are paying. Thirdly, I... I um, I, I join you when you say there is other similar symmetric um, systems where it is highly recommended that you imp implement it instead of zakat. Is that right? That's what you said, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, got you. Okay. So, yeah, I just fin finished the third point. So, Islam in general, of course, imposes uh, zakat on Muslims. However, it does also can back that with taxes for other expenditures like the army, hospitals, roads, etc. with minor taxes. Can I reply now? I didn't hear. So the taxes, the tax system with the zakat is not completely forbidden in Islam. We can use it. However, the, the, uh, the, the, the zakat, which is compulsory um, uh, charity, is you need to um, give it to certain types. Okay, so allow to, me to reply, right? They are protected. Okay. So I reply to your first, second, and third. Okay, okay. so let me re re let me reply. You ready? Action. So the reason why it is a discriminatory tax is we've got to recognise what a discriminatory tax is. If a tax is only if a tax is only applied to one people for the benefit of one people, yeah. then it is discriminatory if the benefit is not to all of its citizens. Yes. Now, now, and, and this is what we see in Zakat. It is taken from rich Muslims and only yeah. given to poor Muslims. No. And no, don't That's interrupt, wrong. don't That's interrupt, wrong. don't That's interrupt. No, right, no, from no, this no, point no, forward, no, no, I am going to interrupt you whenever I want if okay, you okay, interrupt okay, me again. Okay. If you interrupt me again, I will interrupt you whenever I want. Okay. So, it is a discriminatory tax in because Islam. it cannot be Islam. given, it cannot be given to, it cannot be given, and I'm now going to interrupt you whenever I want, it cannot be given 
to Christians or Jews. So it is discriminatory. <laughs> and the argument was that we can have other taxes that create other public kind of institutions that benefit everybody. But if you create roads from other taxes and hospitals from other taxes, then the Muslims also benefit. So that means they have a double benefit. They receive from the general tax and they receive from the special tax. And there is no equivalent obligated in Islamic law for the Christians. There is no equivalent tax that's taken from rich Christians and distributed to poor Christians. It doesn't exist and therefore that is discrimination. Secondly, secondly, the, the, the criticism that it caps the good. The maximum, and, and the brother tried to do a bit of takia here. He tried to do a bit of a lie here. He tried to say it was obligatory charity. Obligatory charity is not charity. If it's obligatory, it's a tax. If it's enforced by the state, it's a tax. Tax is a free offering, a free donation that you do from your heart. That's what the scripture is saying. We'll come on to the Christian equivalent. The third defense of my argument is that there are better systems of tax than zakat. Example, the British system of tax. We give over 20% of our national budget in redistributive taxes, ladies and gentlemen. Over 20%. And then when we include the NHS, together with the welfare state, over 50% of our tax burden is redistributive in nature to help the poor. Zakat limits it at 2.5%. The problem with that is, as you can see across the Islamic world, is poverty is everywhere across the Islamic world. Some of the richest people in the world are Muslims, these emirs. And the maximum that they can give is 2.5%. Over, do, would you like to do it timed? Because I, I'm going yeah, to interrupt you. you yeah, yeah, we're going, we're going to do it timed. But don't complain when I interrupt you because you interrupted me. No, I'm, I'm listening to you right? respectfully. I didn't interrupt yes, you did. And you're interrupting me right now. Still, you're interrupting right now. We need to be fair. We need to we, we, well, let's we do it timed. Time, yeah? So can we get a timer? We're going to do three minutes, three minutes. Do you want to time it, Amir? I trust you Amir. To, to count how much he spoke. Okay. No, we're going to do three know, minutes, three no, minutes no, no, from no, no. here. You're already, you're already well, brother, more brother, than three minutes. you jumped yes. into my conversation. Okay. No, you accepted me. Yes. Okay, so you need to be so fair. So let's do three minutes, so three minutes. Need to be fair. So, so we'll start three, three minutes. minutes. We'll, no, we, no, we're doing three no, minutes, no, 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 no. three minutes. So if you start again, Bro, I will speak brother, six minutes. Brother, no, three no, minutes no, before, no. This gentleman no, is laughing because no. he knows that. He can laugh, he can laugh. No, brother, right, let's be clear. You wanted to join you this are, conversation that I was having with this brother. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, he's, he's, obviously, he's obviously lost his ability to conduct himself. He is interrupting. Right now he's interrupting. Do you want to get one minute right. to wrap it up and then he gets four minutes and then you can get that. And then four minutes, four minutes. No, 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 no.